We all have done a huge amount of profit from uh, trading in S&P 500 from the last five months or four months, but this uptrend has uh, is supposed to come to an end now, because uh, you know uh, I want to tell you over here. Look at here that this is the one-day chart of S&P 500, and here is the uptrend of S&P 500. This uh, you know flag kind of thing, upward flag, uh, has been coming to an end because now uh, since the past four to five days s p 500 is unable to make a new higher high you will be able to see it clearly in the four hour chart which i'm gonna present to you look at here this is the four hour chart of s p 500 and here is the uptrend of s p 500 it is tickling in this range in this you know time uh, in this range of the market but here the uptrend has ended and here a new resistance can be formed like this one it is unable to unable to cross this resistance okay why this is happening the answer lies in the stochastic oscillator you can see it over here that uh, from 19th of april the stochastic oscillator was at uh 83 you can see it over here the stochastic oscillator was at 83 and whenever stochastic oscillator go above 80, the market is considered as overbought. Whenever market is overbought, a trend reversal is imminent. So if you know how to use stochastic oscillator properly, you can also make the you know zones in stochastic oscillator as well. Because you can see it over here, this indicator was at this point, which was 84, and then it fell to 34, and then it again get back towards 93. So this was the point where you would have made a huge amount of profit when it fell to 33 and when it went back to 95, 94. But right now the stochastic oscillator is at 50 and the market movement should be sideways because uh, whenever these indicators move side uh, is about the middle range of the total you know zone in which these indicators tickle if it is at the middle range that is at 50 or in other indicators this range is something different the market moves sideways so this is what we are looking at here how many days have passed by since the market is moving sideways it has been one two three four five six seven and something like 10 days so from the past 10 days you may have not uh, been able to make huge amount of profit from SPX, SP, S&P 500 because the market is right now moving sideways. So wait for the uh, another pattern to be formed over here and look for the 4 hour chart for the clear uh, you know pattern formation and indication. But that's it guys that's it for S&P 500. I hope you like this video and if this content has added some sort of information to your knowledge don't forget to hit the subscribe button on my channel. Thank you so much.